Successful continuous integration is a worthy goal for many software development teams. But how do you know if you've achieved your goal? This is where key performance indicators help. You need to measure the processes that make up the software development lifecycle in order to know if the changes to your process are making a difference. At CircleCI, we don't believe in one-size-fits-all success metrics for delivery. Every team is different. However, the software delivery patterns we've observed on our platform, especially the data points from top delivery teams, show key similarities that suggest valuable benchmarks for teams to use as goals. Data from more than 44,000 organizations and 160,000 projects on CircleCI gave us four key benchmarks to measure engineering team success. Throughput is the average number of workflow runs per day. The number of workflow runs matters less than being at a deploy-ready state most or all of the time. Duration is the length of time it takes for a workflow to run. Teams want to aim for workflow durations in the range of 5 to 10 minutes. Mean time to recovery is the average time between failures and their next success. Teams should aim to recover from any failed runs by fixing or reverting in under an hour. Success rate is the number of successful runs divided by the total number of runs over a period of time. Success rates above 90% should be your standard for the default branch of an application. While some teams may have business-specific reasons for choosing different metrics as goals, any efforts to improve engineering productivity or process will hinge on your ability to measure your baseline metrics and make incremental improvements. It's helpful to have a regular cadence of reporting. Automated daily reports help ensure that if there is an error, the team catches it fast. Analyzing the weekly reports allows teams to dive much deeper into the CI processes and find improvement areas. For more information on measuring team success, download the 2020 State of Software Delivery linked in the description.